sometimes we can get uh, lazy in our commitment to God and we sort of slough off of doing what we know to do and I'm saying not here not ever amen and, and, and you got to hear me I, I, I know uh, many have never heard of it before uh, many think it's wild and crazy uh, but I love the people of God so much that I will make that stand and I will shut it down even if we have to start from scratch all over again. Amen. I mean what I'm saying. So y'all, you know, you can try me if you feel like it. But if our Bible study is not back where it's supposed to be, uh, by the end of the year, we'll go back to just seeing each other on Tuesday. Amen. I don't care nothing about money and popularity about none of that. I care about souls and building lives. Amen. Amen. Now, but before we move forward with uh, service, um, I, I need to just say something. And I need uh, to confess to something that I did wrong some months ago. And it just dawned on me as of late that that could be the problem. And I want to do it publicly because the offense was public. Amen. Um, and, and the reason I'm doing that because far too many times pastors will act as if the people have done them wrong. But will never fess up if they did something questionable. Amen. A few months ago, I asked you all to uh, look amongst yourselves and give me a list of names for people who you would like to see serve as pastors, staff pastors. By show of hands, how many remember that? Amen. On that list were several people, and we moved to make some staff pastors. You all will remember from here, uh, we made uh, Dr. Taylor. Pastor Leo, Pastor CJ, our staff pastors uh, from this church, amen. In putting Pastor CJ over Christian education, I slighted uh, Pastor Randy Ballard. I did it publicly and I had never talked to him about it. And I believe it really hurt his feelings. And uh, he has not been back to church, uh, his family has not been back, and I've reached out, I've called him, I'm, I'm, I wrote a letter this afternoon, I'm on mail to him, but I, I just want to say I'm sorry for that, and I need for you all to know that I handled that wrong, and I'm reaching out to him to apologize to him, and uh, pastors, we can't just be examples in easy places, amen? But we also have to be examples in tough places. So I'm asking you all to forgive me for handling him the wrong way. And I will continue to reach out to Pastor Ballard uh, until we make contact. Amen. But I needed to share that with you all. Uh, I don't, because uh, listen, and our church uh, is hurting without the Ballard family. And you got to hear me when I say this. I'm not talking about money and tithing and all of that. Because believe it or not, he sends his tithe every week. Uh, but what I'm talking about is those people got good character. Amen? And, and you want people with good character to always be present at the church. Amen? And so I just want to say publicly that they ain't tripping. They haven't disappeared. I believe in my heart I offended them. And I'm doing my level best to get at them. Amen. And try to right that wrong. Amen. Amen. Those of you who have your Bibles, it is the first Tuesday. And on first Tuesday nights we have worship service. Uh, we don't have any to baptize this first Tuesday. That's, it's been a long time since we haven't baptized some folk, but let's give God some praise anyhow.
Those of you who have your Bibles, if you would please turn in them to the Gospel of St. Luke. The Gospel of St. Luke. And I want you to look at chapter 13. Chapter, I don't think I've preached to you all in about four weeks. I, I, don't be hollering at me. Look, people holding up hands and everything. 